Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is a little bit different. I had actually attempted to film a um, shop my stash back with me, uh, makeup I wanna take with me on vacation. I filmed it, but the video was pretty crappy. The quality was super shaky. So I decided not to upload it. So instead what we're doing is we're doing unpack with me the makeup that i took with me on vacation what did i use what did i not use and how did it all work out so if you guys are interested in this type of video then please keep on watching um if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and let's get started so let's go ahead and get started we'll get started with the bag i did order this from amazon um it was actually pretty nice it has a slot or it is really nice it does have a slot for the brushes and we'll talk about the brushes that i did take with me as well i feel like i probably should have picked up something a little bit bigger but <laughs> we overpacked so um it has these little slots for um like where you want to put pro your products and all that and these are removable which i did actually organize it however i felt like it fit what i needed it's very very packed <laughs> i did take a lot but it's all right we'll go ahead and get started i guess i will get started with um maybe we'll get started with like face primers i kind of like i would do a full face and then yeah we'll do that so for face primers the one primer that i did take with me was this guy this is by laura mercier pure canvas primer hydrating I actually did really enjoy it. Um, it was, it felt really nice on my skin, so I did use it. And again, that was the only primer I took, so I did use it. For foundation, I did take two. I did take House Labs. This is the Triclone Skin Technology Skin Tech Foundation. Um, whatever that means. This is in the shade. Which shade do I have? Two hundred light, medium, neutral beautiful i did actually use it i use it a couple times i do really like the glue that it has i like how it looks on my skin i like how it wears so i was really happy that i did take it with me and then i also took um this pure lease bb cream with darkening drops this this is the um drunk elephant deep bronze eye this was perfect because i was able to combine them and i stand as i tanned that really helped um and then i used these as well um couple nights when i just wanted to look nice because we we're gonna take a couple photos but i didn't want to have to worry about my face melting and the humidity and all of that um so that was it for foundations for concealers i took two with me i took one that is an absolute favorite one of my absolute favorite concealers and i took one that i really wanted to try out i recently hauled it and i really wanted to use it so the nars radiant creamy concealer a ride or die i love this product um it's a really nice shade i feel like i maybe need to start looking for shade a little bit deeper it's the beginning of the summer and i already have a nice thing going and this barely matched me now this guy by kulfi um this is in the shade coco crush this is the main match concealer um this was also really nice I was a little worried that it was going to be too dark, but no, the shade was really, really nice for me. Matched really perfectly. Um, it did blend really nicely. It felt really nice under my eye. It did, like, it, it was buildable. I felt like it will, like, the formula could have been a little bit more full coverage, so I don't have to reapply and, like, build it up. But overall, it was a nice one. I did enjoy it. I was happy with it. For powder, I only took one powder for to set my entire face under my eye, um, and that's my Nikia Joy Cosmetics. This is the Velvet Finishing Powder. I just love this guy. I did take a finishing powder, and that was the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. Again, another favorite of mine, and this is in the shade Luminous Light. So these were all, did get uses. Now let's go ahead and talk about eyeshadow primers and eyeshadows. Let me put lippies here. I did take quite a few lippies. Um, eyeshadow primer. What I took was MAC Paint Pot. This is um, in the shade Soft Ochre. I'm still working on this guy. It's taking me forever, but I take I did take this guy. Now for eyeshadow palettes, um, considering the size of this this travel bag and the fact that I really did not want to worry about putting on an elaborate eyeshadow like look. I just wanted something easy and simple. I went with smaller palettes. This is by Natasha Denona. 
Retro Palette. This came in um, Sephora Favorites Kit around the holidays. And this was my first time trying it. I did take it with me on travel and I just loved it. So convenient. Um, outer V, over the lid, crease, perfect. And it looked really, really nice. I did take two more eyeshadow palettes. I did use one of them and one did not get used at all. Um, I did not use my Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Celestial Pearl eyeshadow palette. I didn't use it. I, I just didn't reach for it. Pat McGrath. This is a Vioristic Vixen. I used this guy for sure. This is a beautiful travel palette for, for me. Got a really nice pan in here. Um, yeah, this one I used. Let's talk singles because I went crazy with how many singles I took. I unfortunately only used two out of the many. For cream singles, I took the Nessa Myricks Color Fix Foils and one a cream color. This is in the shade Alien. It is a beautiful, beautiful color, but I just did not use it. Um, and this is in the shade Celebration. I didn't use this guy either, but man, so, so pretty should probably show you these you would mm, probably would enjoy that i there wasn't like a specific reason why i didn't use them they're beautiful um i just did not wear makeup as much as i thought i was going to for number one and number two um i um yeah i just didn't uh, the days that i did wear makeup i decided to go and like do a, a, a look or you know spend some more time on that um the other single i took is this hourglass scattered light this is in the shade burnish this is really really beautiful i did not use it either i thought these would be perfect like one shadow one and done kind of eyeshadow look um but again i i did not i didn't do it I took this loose one. This is by Pat McGrath and this is Angel Dust. And this is a crystalline prig uh, pigment. This is so pretty. I did not use this guy either, but this is such a beautiful eye topper. So pretty. All right, let's talk about the two shades, the two singles that I did use. Um, these are by Danessa Myricks, and these are the Triclone. What are they called exactly? I'm not sure. Um, they're like tri multi-chrome pigment things. Uh, I have Superstar and I have Hot Lava. And the day that I used them, I used them together. I had wanted to use this shade by itself. This is the one that I really wanted to use that day. Um, I just could not get enough pigment on my lid. Um, so I, I could not get that purpliness, <laughs> the purpliness. I could not get enough pigment out of it. So I ended up um, topping it, let me close it, topping it or mixing it with this one. And I actually got to say, it looked really, really nice. I was pretty happy with the result. This is more, oh, that's a lot, more foily. So there's more like chunks if you know what i mean like so it has more color to it compared to the purple but i do really like them um they're pretty expensive for how much product you get and they take they, they do take quite some time to dry on the lid and then they kind of feel a little like the lid is stretched out not so much with this shade but with the purple for sure it feels that way hand is a little stained now from that celebration shade um for bronzers let's talk about bronzers for bronzers i took two with me i took one cream bronzer this is by tower 28 this is the sculptino and the shade is getty i hauled this guy recently and i really wanted to play with it and I really liked it. I, I thought the formula was really nice. It blended really nicely and the shade was really good for me. And then I took House Labs <laughs> Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer. I'm in love. This is in the shade Light Level 4. This is such a beautiful bronzer. I love the formula. I love the glowiness, how it looks on my skin, especially now with a little bit of color, a little bit of tan. It looks amazing. For uh, blushes, I took three and I used all three of them. 
I used, this is um, a new blush to me. I hauled it again recently. This is the House Labs Color Flush, Color Fuse Blush in the shade Pomelo Peach. I'm definitely gonna pick up another formula, another color. The formula is so nice and it looked so, so pretty on. There it is. I took Makeup by Mario. This is the Creamy Peach Soft Pop Powder Blush. I did use this one. Wait, I don't think I used the one by Sephora. I think I only used these two. There's the one by Mario. So beautiful. And then this guy did not get any use. This is by Sephora. Um, and this is in the shade Fascinated. Not for any reason. I just fell in love with those house products, house labs. There's the Sephora one. It's a really nice blush. Okay, let's talk about the highlighters. For highlighters, I took this guy and I took this palette. Cali Ray Highlighter in Highlight. And this is in the Starlight Beach, which is the more pinky shade. This is the only highlighter I used and it is so beautiful it was freaking stunning i did not use the dior palette but we'll go ahead and swatch it i used it today actually but that doesn't count because i'm back home <laughs> okay we'll go ahead and talk about um the lippies they're all lip glosses i did take a lip oil as well which was the house labs lip oil um, this is in the shade Primary. The other lip glosses I took, I took uh, CoverGirl. This is um, the Clean Fresh Yummy Gloss. This was really beautiful. I did um, leave it at the pool one day and then my husband went to pick up our stuff and he came back to the room. I was like, where's my gloss? He was like, what gloss? I'm like, I had a pink gloss there. He was like, it looked very kiddish. I didn't think it would be yours. I didn't think it was yours. I thought it was for a kid. Went back downstairs to the pool and it was still there. But I was like, damn, it's like, is he right? Like, should I not be using a kid looking makeup? But I did enjoy it. The formula was really nice. It felt nice on the lips. The NYX Fat Oil thing lip drip was nice, but it's not a fat oil. Um, I didn't feel like any difference between this and this. I thought this would be like really thick on the lips, but it wasn't. Um, it was nice overall. From Tower 28, I took two, one in the shade um, Cashew and one in Spicy, which I did really enjoy. And this Amy Cole, um, Cole, Cole, I'm not sure how to say it. This was really nice too. This is a lip oil and this is in the shade Smitten. I did like it. For brows, um, I only took M Cosmetics. This is the Fluffy Micro Fluff um, Sculpting Brow Cream Classic Brunette. My brows were so unruly. Definitely Grande Lash, um, not Lash, the Brow Serum actually really works. My brows were so unruly. By the end of the vacation, I was only gone for nine days, so I didn't think like, hey, I did have tweezers, but I did not want to have to pluck them. They were very unruly. I did take MAC Stubborn Brown um, Eye Pencil. What I mean is like when I used this guy, it was too much, so I did not use a brow pencil. I only use it like once or twice. Um, I had two mascaras, Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes and uh, Lottie London Super Fake. Um, for setting spray, I had a primer mist and a setting spray, um, Smashbox Primer Water and setting spray. I went with Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Setting Spray because I know that it lasts, like it makes my makeup actually last. And I do um, a bikini and body bump eraser just sitting in here on a sharpener, but I did not use the eye pencil at all. Okay, now for... Um, for uh, brushes, let me show you the brushes that I did pack and I'll tell you where they're from, if they're significant or not. Um, I did take all of my Wayne Goss eye set. I did use it, um, maybe not everything, but I reached for it for sure. I did take these, um, these three are by Glam Light. I think this was like a candy can or something like that collection. I do really like them. I think I only used this one. Um, I did not use the other two. I did use the e.l.f. Uh, fluffy eye blender to just blend some bronzer into my crease one day. I did use this flat brush to apply those um, um, the Nessa Marcus flakes and this is a highlighter brush. This is also by BH Cosmetics. 
definitely use that one. Um, I did take a couple refer brush brushes for my face. I took she, um, brush number 05 for blush, number 18 for setting under my eye, number 4 for bronzing, and number 30 for powder all over the face. I did have this brush by MAC for the cream bronzer, the Tower 28, and it wor worked really nice. This brush is by Aesthetica. I do use it for fluff, for um, blending my uh, finishing powder. I do really like it. I do have a fan for drying my face. And one last brush is for brushing my brows. And this is by Patrick Ta. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this unpack with me. If you found it fun, helpful, or anything like that, let me know and I'll do these more often, especially when I go on work trips. I have a couple coming up. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.